welcome to Anderson's homesteading farm. John uh, got him a new toy today. It's a spreader. We needed it desperately because this soil or this grass and soil it has lacked nutrients so bad. Hey big mama. Oh I need to put some more fly stuff on you all. Eee. Um it lacks so much nutrients because nothing's been done to it in probably years. So John got a spreader. So we are spreading lime on it. So we hope that we'll be able to see a difference in the next couple of weeks. If anybody knows about lime in the field, because uh, we're new to this, um, leave a comment down at the bottom and let us know if we need to do, you know, something better, something different, what we need to do. We're excited about it because see the fields, how they look, and we want to have good, rich grass. Oh, there's some trash. Hey, I better get out here. Something's dragged something over here. Um, we want good, healthy fields. We're also going to kind of block the fields off, section them off to where we can let them rest and stuff like that because tomorrow I may be going to get two more cows. So we'll, we'll see if John sends me off to Crossville by myself or not. To get two more cows. I think there's a heifer and a steer calf. So let's see. Oh push, oh push. It's scaring me. So hopefully this will take care of our babies. too because I need to put out grass seed um, in a lot of places so this will make it a lot easier on me putting out grass seed. Let's go up here since we're already up here in the field and let's visit the chickens and my little hens and Goosey. Hey Goosey! Hey, baby. Goosey's a lot nicer now that um, he's not all pinned up, aren't you, Gooser? Yes, and we got, we've got we got Gertie the Goose. That's going to be your wife. Is Gertie your wife? Huh? Yeah, Gertie is your wife, isn't it? You've just not got to meet her yet because she's too little. But yes, her name's Gertie, and I can't wait for you to meet her. Hey, Mr. Rooster. I guess we'll have to call that one Elvis Jr. Even though he don't look like Elvis Jr. But anyway, there's my hens. Look, they didn't even eat my bread. They probably couldn't peck into it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I tried to do one uh, Saturday and tried to rush it. We've had a little creature a uh, raccoon come in on them and it's just about wiped out my whole chicken herd so let's um let's check for some let's check for some eggs give me just a minute i gotta not lock myself in here so i've got this little contraption that's on the door and then i hook it over here on that nail to keep the door where the chickens won't come out behind me. Oh, we got one. Hey, hey little mama. We got one laying for us right now. So you all are, we're catching her in action. Let's see if there's any eggs in here. 
um, since they've been up here, they've not been laying as well, which I can't really say that because we've lost a lot of our hens. So we're gonna, I'll leave you in peace, baby. You just go ahead and lay your egg for mommy. Okay, so we're gonna leave her alone. Get my little contraption here. You all, I lock myself in stuff all the time. I've knocked myself out with the electric fence, cold turkey, and put me, it threw me back into the barbed wire. And uh, my grandson was here and he was like, Gammy, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was knocked out cold turkey. Um, Mr. Peacock is down there. Let's see if we can zoom in on him down there. See him down there, right, right. Oh, let's see, where's the camera? Oh, right there. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh, not myself out cold turkey on the fence, on the electric fence. Um, Lord, I've been shocked. I don't know how many times I've tripped over the wheelbarrow, about broke my leg. You name it, I've done it on the farm so far. Oh, let me unzoom this. So. Oh, gosh. Join us making me a little nervous. I'm afraid he's going to turn over that tractor. But we are having the best time here. Just getting new toys and um, and I'm telling you right now and I'll say it again and I'll probably say it on every video that I do. Anybody that thinks homesteading's easy uh -uh. Anybody that thinks homesteading is cheap and inexpensive, uh -uh. Um, especially if you want to do it right and you're just getting started off. Now, there's a difference between trying to live off the grid and homesteading. Um, so I want to make that clear. Living off the grid, you don't get spreaders and... Um, yard rakes and you know machinery stuff you're living off the grid and you pretty much put anything that you can put together homesteading is i mean you know we do a lot of that homesteading but you have to have certain tools to be able to homestead where it's not absolutely breaking you down and and breaking your back but um you know i want to get everything set up i want to get everything set up just right you know i want the goats with the goats the cows and donkeys together the chickens by their self the geese by their self turkeys by their self i don't want just a hodgepodge of everything together so, um, and the ducks, um, I've had four ducks hatch, so, or three ducks hatch so far. One's probably going to hatch tonight, but, um, I just don't want a hodgepodge of, of stuff. Um, I, just all in one cage. I'd like for them to have their own little homes and their own little houses. And that way, when people come up to visit, we can go around to the different, you know, little, I call them stations, the little different stations and be able to enjoy the animals. Oh gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I'll get you all some fly spray here in a minute. I'll, I'll spray you all. Let's go in here. Let's see if, uh... hey turkeys. I'm not coming up with a name for the turkeys yet. We've got two, two females and a male. Let's go in here and I'm having a problem with them turning over their water. Now you all have not laid one egg today for me. What, what's going on here? Are you all mad or am I not doing something right? You laid two eggs yesterday. Huh? Can you talk to me and, and tell me why? 
You've not laid an egg yet? Really? I mean, it's good and shady and... I mean, I'm gonna get y'all out on grass here pretty soon. Is that okay? It is? Okay. I thought you were gonna ignore me there for a minute. But then you told me, right? Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds good. They're, they're usually making them a little nest right over here in the corner. Um, right there. But I don't see any eggs. I don't see any eggs. Now, this one is supposed to be a tom. I don't know. I swear. I think it looks like a hen. So, there again, if anybody knows if you can tell a tom from a hen at this age, I think they're about a year and a half old, would you please let me know? These two are supposed to be hens. And I'm know for a fact they are hens because they've laid eggs. Look, I can't even keep the water thing together because they want to stand up on it. One of them lost a feather. Well, one of them, I think, took the shock and flew out. I don't know if y'all can see, but see, I've got electric up here. Um, took the shock and got out this morning. Okay, well, I'll let y'all be. It's okay if you don't lay an egg. I know everything's new. Okay. Are y'all going to talk to me? Can you talk to me or not? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Let's go down here and let's say hi to the goats real quick. I know I started off on join uh, doing the spreader and then I squirreled and went off on the chickens. Look, big mama licking her salt block. I was talking about you. Yes, I was. I was talking about you. I love you. There's two donkeys. We're going to get all this area. There's going to be three stalls right here. So I've got to get the turkeys a place to uh, go. And I'm just not sure where I want to put them yet. So I've got to work on that project and get them out of there where I can make three stalls right here until we can get our barn. Um built. It's always until we do this, until we do that. Look, there's a, here's Gertie the Goose. That's Goosey's wife. Yes. Are you telling them? Well, come here and tell them. And I've got Gertie beside the rabbits here. Hey, Mama Rabbit. And this is Papa Rabbit. They are gonna have babies. They, what we call, got married the other day. And Mama Rabbit's gonna have babies, aren't you? You gonna have babies, huh? Mommy hasn't petted you in a long time, have I? No, Mommy's just been busy and just not petted you. I'm oh, sorry. So she likes her 11s. I'll come back and live on you before you go to bed, okay? Okay, so let's say hi to the goat real quick, I guess. Well, hey, Mocha. Hey, Psycho. There's Psycho and Mocha. Um, we've got all this area all the way down to that fence. We got it all open for them. And I've been going in there and because uh, we're trying to get all this cleaned out. And uh, it's amazing how fast they clean it out. But I went in there with loppers and cut down 
just about as high as I could get, which you can see it's not very high. And uh, for them to eat some of the leaves, so it's really opened it up a lot. There's Chickapea. Hey, Chickapea. And there's Snitch. Snitch is back there chilling. Hey, Psycho. Psycho just does not, don't get your nose in that. It's gonna shock you. Um, poor old Psycho just don't know what to do. Oh gosh. Okay, so I wish you enough. I've got to run and get the gate open for John. He's finished and he'll get on to me because I'm on this video. So I wish you enough. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for following our journey.